Hey, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're a new viewer. My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for coming by to hang out with us today. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys all of the amazing products that I've bought from Amazon. Now, I've watched quite a few people do this video, and a lot of people share, I don't know, like little gadgets that they picked up, things that maybe you wouldn't think to pick up, neat things. I do have a couple of those here, but I also have some really staple products that I picked up that, honestly, I can't imagine not having. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I was going to add in all the stuff that I bought for my channel as well when it comes to like lighting and stuff for makeup storage and all that jazz, but I, I kind of wanted to keep that separate. If that's something that you're interested in watching, please let me know down below and I will do a whole separate video. Um showing you guys products that I bought from Amazon that was for my YouTube channel. I feel like that would be better suited than trying to fit it all in this video. I didn't realize just how many products I bought from Amazon until I was trying to get this video together. I have bought a lot of crap from Amazon. So, the stuff I'm showing you today specifically, I have quite a few electronics and just some other odds and ends. So if you're just now stumbling across my channel, I typically do a lot of makeup content. I might have a couple of other random videos thrown, you know, mixed in between. But for the most part, I'm doing reviews, I'm doing, well, I was doing a lot of hauls, but I'm trying to scale back this year. We're doing a low buy, uh, shop my stash, chatty get ready with me type videos, just a lot of makeup related content. So that's typically what you're going to see here on my channel. If you like that kind of content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell. If you like this video while you're watching, give it a thumbs up. Let's get into these Amazon favorites. Okay, like I told you, some of these are going to be like, you're going to be scratching your head. But I wanted to share them with you because they're things that I really, I'm glad that I have. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is actually a mouse trap. <laughs> so I live in a really old house. We've had an ant problem at one point in time, and just recently we had a mouse problem. I really didn't want to buy the mouse traps that like snap on their tail or snap on their head. Like the idea of picking dead mice out of the traps, I just... I wanted to do something that was humane, and I just don't do well with that kind of stuff. So I went on Amazon, I was searching around, and I came across this mousetrap. So what it is, this little back piece here pulls out, and you put peanut butter or you know whatever kind of food that you think mice would be attracted to, and it's got holes in it so they can smell it. Um, and then you push this down, and as soon as they go inside, obviously the little door here is going to cause this to flip up and they get stuck. Now, you will have to let them outside. You're going to have to take this out and find somewhere to let them out. What I've been doing is driving them down the road because I don't want them coming back. But let me tell you, I, I caught three mice in one night using these because I have two. And I haven't heard any more mice. So they've been effective. So if you're looking for a humane way to get rid of mice and you haven't found like that, the trap that you're looking for, I know this is such a silly thing to recommend to you guys, but these really do work. They come in a two-pack. I am going to link these down below. If Actually, anything that I talk about in this video will be linked down below if you're interested in picking it up. They will be affiliate links, which means if you purchase something, I will earn a small commission off that purchase. Um, it won't cost you anything extra. It's just a way that you could show support to my channel if you were already going to grab some of these products that I'm talking about. So, the mousetrap, I love these. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to share with you is actually a backup camera battery. So, I have a Canon 80D that I film with. And if you also film YouTube videos, then you know that it usually only comes with one battery. And filming with only one battery is a freaking nightmare. There's just no way. I would be, it would probably take me all day to film one video because I would have to stop, charge my battery, restart. I bought two backup batteries off of Amazon. And it was one of the best things that I've ever done as far as filming is concerned. When one of my batteries dies, I take it out, I charge it, I put a new one in, and I just keep recycling like that. And I don't ever run out of battery. So had to mention those. If you're somebody that films YouTube videos, honestly, totally worth buying backup batteries. And I've had zero problems with these. They're like the generic, I don't want to say they're generic, but they're not the Canon brand. They work just fine. To go with those backup batteries, I also purchased a dual bay USB charger to charge them with. Works totally fine. This doesn't come with like the little box that you plug in the wall. You have to provide that yourself. But having this when you have the backup batteries is super helpful. And 
It works just fine. I've been using it ever since I bought it a couple years ago. So I wanted to recommend this as well. If you're interested in buying backup batteries for your camera, if you film, totally worth it. All right, so let's switch gears a little bit and get away from the electronics because I do have quite a few more electronic type items to share with you. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is a retractable badge holder. It holds all my keys at work. This is super helpful for just hooking it on my belt loop and if I need to get it, because I'm always unlocking doors or unlocking something, and you just pull it, unlock it, and it snaps back. Well, this one I've been using for quite a while, so it's, it's getting a little bit worn out. But I've been using this same one for, well, I bought it in the middle of 2019, and it's still not broken, and it's still, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, it works. So these are just super handy. If you're somebody that carries keys at work or you have a lot of house keys or whatever, and you need something that's going to be easily accessible and you're not going to have to keep taking it off of a belt loop or off of a carabiner or whatever, I love this. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to share with you is something that I actually bought for my son, my 17-year-old son. He was doing soccer conditioning over the summer and he needed something that he could work out with here. We just don't have, you know, we don't have a bunch of weights and stuff here. So I actually bought him some resistance bands off Amazon and he's been using them consistently. And they're very good quality. He really enjoys them. They serve their purpose. And if you're looking for something to do, like some training at home, and you, maybe you want something different from just regular barbells or whatever, um, I would definitely give these a try. They work. They're good. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you is a little USB port hub or whatever you want to call it. I actually bought two of these. I don't know what the hell I did with the other one. It's floating around here somewhere. So I bought these specifically because the laptop that I have right now only has, it has like one, I don't know all the terminology. It doesn't have enough ports on it, okay? It's got one USB 3 port and it's got two of the of the smaller ones, the, like the Thunderbolt ports, and that's it. It's got like nothing. I wanted something that had an HDMI port. I wanted an Ethernet port. So I did buy a couple of these little USB hubs, and I don't know how I would be able to operate my computer without them, honestly. They have been a complete lifesaver. Um, again, I will link the ones that I purchased down below. They have both worked very well. The only reason why I bought two is because one of them had the Ethernet port and the other one didn't. And I didn't realize I was even going to need that until I bought the first one. So if you have a computer but you don't have enough ports, these really are game changing. Okay, the next thing I'm going to share with you is something I bought recently. This is a wireless phone charger for my Android phone. I believe this also works for like iPhones, but this is such a, just a handy thing to have. So if I want to charge my phone and be watching it, you know, it's nice that it's on a stand and it sits upright, but I like the fact also that it's wireless. I have ruined so many phones with the actual charging port that I was a little nervous to keep doing that with my new phone because my new phone is not cheap. So the idea of putting it on a wireless base, I just really like that idea. So this one so far has worked really well. And if you're somebody that's looking for a wireless charger, you can't go wrong. There are a few things that I can't sh like hold up and show you because either they're too heavy too big, you know, it won't fit in the frame if I'm trying to show it to you. So what I'm going to do is just pop a picture up on the screen and show you that way. All right, the next product that I'm going to share with you is something that I had to pick up because we were getting my cat neutered and I needed a cat carrier. When it comes to stuff like that, you just, you don't know what the quality is going to be like when you're buying things like that online or if it's going to be big enough. My cat, I would say, is like medium sized. Um, he's gotten a little chunky since he got fixed, but... I went ahead and took the plunge and bought a cat carrier on Amazon, and I'm really pleased with it. He had no problem getting in and out of it. It seems really sturdy. He was clawing at it a little bit, and it wasn't tearing apart. So if you're looking for a decent cat carrier that's not going to completely break the bank, and I mean, I'm sure you could probably carry small dogs in it too, like real small dogs, but it worked really well transporting him to and from the vet, so... I would highly recommend the one that I'm sharing with you guys. All right, the next thing that I'm going to share with you is something that I bought for my daughter for Christmas. So about eight months ago, maybe longer, my daughter started talking to me about an air track. And I'm like, what the, what is she talking about? What is an air track? So I started to do my research. 
I watched YouTube videos, a lot of YouTube videos, because these air tracks are very expensive. What they are, are there these long, inflatable, basically like a tumbling track for gymnastics. My daughter likes to tumble, she is self-taught, and she needed something that was going to kind of cushion her fall if she's doing back handsprings or whatever. It makes her feel more comfortable having that, that springy cushion underneath of her. So this air track is kind of like a gymna like an actual gymnastics floor, like a springboard. It's got a little bit of give to it and bounce. So again, I watched plenty of videos and I really, I really weighed my options before I finally honed in on one and purchased one. And the one I'm sharing with you guys, I mean, she's been using it since Christmas. She really likes it. She said that it's got plenty of bounce to it. And I think for the price, I mean, it's good quality if you're, I mean, that's kind of like an odd thing to buy or an odd thing for someone to want. It's pretty random. But if you have a child and they like tumbling and they've been asking for one or, you know, maybe you like tumbling, maybe you like doing gymnastics and whatnot, she really likes it. It's a pretty neat item. And, you know, I'm really glad that we decided to get it for her. We really like it. All right, the next couple things I'm going to show you are from Western Digital. They are external hard drives. This is another product where when you're buying it online, you read reviews, you're looking for something that is well known, something that's not going to die, you know, within a month of you having it. So I actually bought two of these because I really like the way the first one worked for me. I bought a two terabyte hard drive and then I went ahead and bought a bigger one just recently. I bought a four terabyte one. That one is currently plugged into my computer, so I didn't want to pull it out to show you guys, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a little thicker. I've had no problems with them. I've read reviews where they said they were dead on arrival or some of them would have like a clicking noise and then they'd stop working. I haven't had that experience. I'm sure with any electronics, there's sometimes going to be things that happen, but so far so good with me and I've had them now for quite a while. So if you're looking for a good external hard drive, if you're somebody that does YouTube, I cannot tell you how valuable these are. They will save you so much space on your computer, on your computer's hard drive. Um, just in general, these are such a good thing to have. So I wanted to recommend them to you guys if you're looking for a hard drive or an external hard drive. This brand, these in particular, are really nice. All right, this next product that I'm going to share with you is actually a neck massager. And I saw Crystal Clear Makeup on Instagram using it. And when I saw it, I was immediately intrigued. I have constant knots in my shoulders and in my back. Just I think all the stress in my body goes straight to those areas. So when I saw her using it, I was like, man, I need that. I need that neck massager. It looked really neat. Um, and then when it got to me, I tried it out and I just, I fell in love with it. But I knew right away it was something that my mother would really enjoy because I know what my neck and my back feels like and hers is a hundred times worse. All of her stress goes right there. And I just knew that she deserved something like that and she could really use something like that. So I actually ended up giving that to her. And honestly, I was going to buy myself another one after I gave her that one, and I just never did. So I would highly recommend that neck, back massage, or whatever you want to call it. It is fantastic. I do want to get another one in the future, um, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it is. It is incredible. All right, next up in here is a fan slash stand for my laptop to sit on. So if you currently work on a laptop, You'll know the bottoms of those things get super hot. And like, I'm always paranoid that it's going to burn up and overheat and it's going to die on me. So I wanted to get something that could sit underneath my laptop, really kind of ventilate things and cool it off. And this works super well. It just serves its purpose. It's nice. There's not a whole lot to it. It's very lightweight and I like it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Oh, I also want to share with you the Chom Chom. So I saw Raw Beauty Christie talking about this, and it's this little contraption. Again, I'll throw a picture up so you can see it. I don't know where it is at the moment. I think it's, it's in a cabinet somewhere. But it's a contraption where you roll it across the surface, and it picks up cat hair or dog hair. This thing really does pick up so much cat hair. Honestly, it's disgusting. When I, when I use it and I open it up, I am floored by the amount of cat hair that's in it. So it definitely does what it says that it does. It's not too crazy expensive. And if you're somebody that has multiple animals, I feel like you need one of those. The Chom Chom is amazing. I'm so glad I saw Christy talking about it. And I would definitely recommend it to you guys. 
All right, the next thing that I'm going to share with you guys is a robe. I saw Taylor Wynn talking about this robe that she bought from, I don't know if she said Costco or where she bought it from, but after I watched her video, I was like, you know what? I need a new robe. Like, I need something comfy. So I went over on Amazon, I searched around, and I found this robe. And this robe is like wearing a freaking blanket. I'm not going to be able to convey, like, how amazing this robe is. I'll have to show a picture of it as well. When I tell you this robe is comfortable and soft and plush and legitimately feels like you're wearing a blanket, I'm not lying to you. It is really nice. My only complaint about it is that it's a little large for me. So I'm 5'3", I weigh about 125 pounds. I would say if you're any bit bigger than me at all, you probably won't have any issues with this. But for me, it hangs a little bit low on my arms, a little bit lower than I would like for it to. And I have to wrap it around quite a bit, like around my body. But I love how soft it is so much that I don't even care. I just continue to wear it. I love it. I love lounging around the house in it. It's very long. It comes all the way down to like mid-calf. In love with this robe. And I'm so glad that I grabbed it. And if you're looking for a good robe, I would definitely recommend this one. All right. So I think that's all that I'm going to recommend to you guys today in this video. Again, if you are interested in knowing stuff that I bought for my filming setup, stuff that I've bought for organization purposes for my makeup um, or stuff for my vanity, please let me know down below if, because maybe you're looking for that type of stuff. I don't know. If you are, I can make an entirely separate video for those things. I just knew if I tried to dedicate this video to all of that, it would be crazy long because I have bought, I would say 95% of my filming stuff I bought from Amazon. If you made it this far in the video, but you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to do that. Also ring the notification bell while you're at it. So you don't miss future uploads and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.